so tonight I get to go on a date with my husband and I'm so excited. For Mother's Day he bought me tickets to Ingrid Michaelson and she's like one of my favorite artists and I saw her years ago when I lived in California and um, she's coming to Nashville and I'm so excited. So because I was going to get all fancy tonight I figured I would film a tutorial for you um, of how I got this makeup look and it can be applied to I know graduations are right around the corner and evening bridal look like it can be really applied to whatever you guys want it to so if you would like to see how I get this look just keep watching thanks okay so I've already done my foundation and I've done my blush I've done the whole face um, and that's just to save time basically but I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay eye primer and I have a cough drop in my throat has been really scratchy today I don't know what the deal is but Hopefully I'm not getting sick because I just got over getting sick and that would really stink. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in and prime my eyes, making sure to take it up into the brows because that's going to help my the product that I put in my eyebrows to stay longer. Taking it in the outer corner, inner corner, and all the way underneath. So this is just going to help your eyeshadow stay on longer and it's going to help the pigmentation of your shadows show up better. You always want to use your ring finger when you're touching around your eyes because it's the weakest finger and so it's not going to cause as much pulling or damage to your eyes if you're going to use one of your other fingers. So because I already did my foundation um, and I'm using darker colors, usually I would do my foundation afterwards, but like I said, for sake of time, I did it before. I'm just going to go in with a translucent powder. So I'm just going to pack that shadow underneath. Now it's going to look really heavy at first, um, but this what it's going to do is it's going to create a barrier between my foundation and any shadow that might fall out onto the tops of my cheeks. And so at the end of this, all I have to do is with a big fluffy brush just swipe all of that away and it'll take any color that might have fallen down. This also really helps if you get some smudging underneath your eye because of mascara or um, eyeliner running or anything like that, this will kind of help to set all of that area, making sure that it doesn't get oily so that it won't run. Now, I don't usually do grays, but I felt like doing gray today. Um, so I'm going to use this dark gray color, which doesn't have a name, but I know it's by MAC. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this lighter gray color which is called Vex Blanc type and then I'm gonna use a mid-tone era by MAC which is just a really light um, light brown and then I'm also gonna be using patina by MAC okay so I'm just gonna go in with my light Blanc type vanilla color and I'm gonna tap that all over focusing more on the brow but I'm going to tap this all over the lid. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my mid-tone color, which is that light brown. And I'm going to take that all the way across the lid into the crease and really blend that out. Now, because I'm doing more of a smoky eye, it's all about layering. So the first colors that you're going to want to do are your lightest. And those are going to go up the highest because it's going from dark to light. So you want to apply those all over and then take them up to the height that you're wanting. Just keep applying and blending until you get the colors that you're wanting. I'm going to take patina, which is that, it's like a gray brown um, and it has just a slight shimmer to it. And I'm going to take that again across the lid and then up into the crease but not as high as I took I think it was era this is just adding more depth more de definition to your crease now on a flat brush like this um, I'm gonna be going in with that really dark gray color making sure to tap off any extra so that I prevent the darkest colors from falling out down here and I'm just gonna be tapping that onto my lid. Now I'm not going to go all the way into the inner corner. I want this a little bit more wearable. Um, 
if you can call a smoky eye wearable. So I'm going to leave this inner corner pretty bare and I'm just going to be focusing this color onto my lid but on the outer corner and a little bit into the crease. I'm going to be using a really bold fake eyelash and I kind of want the intensity to come from that instead of the shadow. So that's why I'm not using a black, I'm using a gray. Um, we'll use some black for like the eyeliner but I want the intensity to come from the lashes instead of the shadow. So once that's done, I'm going to clean up a little bit with my foundation brush just to get anything that might have gone a little crazy off and swipe away that shadow or that loose powder. I'm going to take that same dark gray and I'm going to run that on the under on the bottom lash line. All the way to the inner corner. And then I'm going to use a fluffier brush to really blend that in. Now this was the same brush that I used for, um, for the two brown colors. So it's also, I didn't add any extra product to it, but it still has those colors on it. So it's going to give um, a really nice combination of all of those when I blend in that dark gray with this brush. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner pencil. This one is Urban Decay's 24 hour or 24-7 black velvet glide-on eye pencil. Whew, quite the name. And I'm just going to take that into the lash line and right on top. Doing pretty thin because I'm going to be blending this out. Now this one, it's not a dry formula. It's pretty creamy. And I want that kind of a formula because I want to blend it and if it's too dry then it'll set too quickly and I want to be able to put it where I want it. Then I'm going to take an angled brush and I'm just going to be blending, blending out that liner and kind of pulling up a little bit. And then with this outer corner I'm going to wing it just, just a tiny bit. And then I'm also going to line the upper and bottom, the upper and lower water lines. I'm going to take your same angled brush and just kind of blend that bottom shadow into your lashes. And really smudge that out. Now I'm going to go curl my lashes. When I curl my lashes, I go to the root and press down and then I walk it out. I do in the middle and then I do on the tips. By kind of walking it out on your lashes you're not just going to get that crimp, you'll actually get a curl. Okay now I'm going to add my first coat of mascara. I'm wanting just a thin coat. I don't want anything too dramatic because, like I said, I'm going to be using false lashes. So while those top lashes are drying, I'm going to go in and fill in my brows. Once the eyebrows are done and my mascara is dry, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my false eyelashes. Um, these ones are J-Cat eyelashes and EL47. Oops. So they're very dramatic full lashes. So I'm just going to apply them with a clear a clear eyelash glue. And I'm just going to take the glue right along that strip. Making sure to get that those outer corners. So I haven't used these ones yet and so while they're drying and getting tacky, I'm going to kind of bend them like this. And this will help because they come really straight and obviously the curve of your eye isn't straight. And so if while it's getting tacky, you're kind of bending it like this, it'll help form to your eye better. So I'm just going to put it on tweezers. Place it on. and tuck in the corners. Try to get it as close to your natural lash line as possible. Ok, 
kind of squeezing them in with your natural lashes. Okay, and the next ones. Okay, and then let those sit. And while those are drying, then I'm gonna apply mascara onto the bottom lashes. And then once those are dry, the t once your false eyelashes are dry, then you can go ahead and apply mascara onto the top lashes as well. This is just going to bind those false lashes to your regular eyelashes. Also, because these don't go in all the way to the inner corner, I want to make sure to get the lashes on the inner corner of my eye. Okay, once you have the eyelashes on, obviously they're very dramatic, um, and you don't have to go as dramatic as I have with your eyelashes, um, but I'm noticing that I would like a little bit more of that mid-tone up here, so you can kind of go around and adjust anything once you kind of see what the final look is going to look like. And then I also want more of that gray under my eye. So with this look, if you didn't want to use false eyelashes, that's totally okay. I would just do maybe a bolder lip. You can do a bright red lip. You could do a hot pink lip. Now, because I'm going on a date with my husband, he does not like the bright lips. Um, he doesn't mind if I wear it other times, but for date nights, like he prefers a more nude lip. So because of that, I'm going to be going in with a nude pink lip liner. This one is Tawny by Jordana. And I'm just going to line my lips and kind of fill it in a little bit. This is going to help my lip color to stay longer as well as give a little bit of color underneath the nude. Kind of spread that in so you don't get any of those harsh like lip liner lines. Then I'm going in with a MAC color in Cream de Nude and I'm just tapping that on. And then just using my finger, I'm going to blend that in on the edges. And because that's pretty nude, I'm going to use a pink gloss. So this is it, and I'm going to go on a date night with my husband, and I'm so excited. If you guys recreate this look, please tag me in it. I'm on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, all those places you can find me. Um, and I just, I love seeing how you guys recreate these looks. It's just so encouraging to me that you guys are liking them. Please remember to like the video and to subscribe. I think I'm only about five people away from doing my 50 subscriber giveaway and I'm so excited. My husband just did 50 subscribers on his channel and was able to do a giveaway and it was so much fun to see. They actually recorded their reaction um, and this guy and his kids and it was just so awesome to see how excited they were to win something and I want to do that for you guys so um so if you want subscribe to my channel and um I hope you guys have a great day thanks bye